Thomas was waiting at a junction when a bus arrived. Hello, said Thomas. Who are you? I'm Bertie. Who are you? I'm Thomas. You know, these videos are all great, but Infant Me needs something different. I could watch this for the millionth time. Nah. What about that thing with the cat and the mouse that I don't remember the name of? No, I clearly need more of this. Oh, what's this? Thompson Stepney and other stories from 1995 released about a month after a video I won't see for a few more years? That's just what I need. Thomas and Stepney was one of the first Thomas and Friends videos in the collection. Troublesome Trucks, Down the Mine, and Percy and the Signal are videos 1 through 3. Thomas and Stepney is either video 4 or video 5, depending on whether or not this one arrived beforehand. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just call it video 4. What the hell did I do here? Well, whatever I did, Video 4 offers us Season 4. Nine episodes of Season 4 narrated by not Ringo Starr. Simples, classic, easy. But what does it really offer? Well, for starters, there's a massive promo for children's preschool shows. All the usual suspects, Tom's and Friends, Sooty & Co, Tots TV, Rosie and Jim, Brom, Wind in the Willows, and one TV series I've never talked about before, Mumphy. I have never watched Mumphy. He or she is an elephant, evidently. Other than the theme song not being all that bad, the adult me doesn't care. Now to the nitty gritty of this personal video home system. Nine classic episodes from the fourth season of this children's TV series that I talk a lot about. You Can't Win, Steamroller, Passengers and Polish, Rusty to the Rescue, Thomas and Stepney, Pain Pots and Queens, Toad Stands By, Fish and Special Attraction. What do I have to say? Well, for starters, it was my introduction to the narrow gauge engines, as well as any engine that wasn't part of the original 8. Pretty basic. See, this is the problem with reviewing every one of these stupid videos. I have very little to say. It's a video of Thomas the Tank Engine. There's a Liverpudlian voiceover. Something happens. Lessons are learned. The kids love it. The end. And I still have three videos left after this. Ugh. Does that mean the video sucks? Not at all. I think this video has two of the best narrow gauge episodes ever made. Even to this day, Steamroller has some fantastic dialogue. Get out of my way, you great clumsy road hog! And then there's Passengers and Polish. As a Scottish man, I happen to love Mike's voice for Duncan. This is easily Duncan's best episode and it really highlights his arrogant personality. You always think about the passengers and never about me. As for the rest of the episodes, they're all pretty good. I want to say my favourite standard gauge episode on this release is Fish. That episode has actually grown on me in the past 20 years. I wouldn't call it the best season 4 episode, but on this video it's probably the best. Nothing beats an early morning freight train accident at the top of a steep hill, I always say. <laughs> No one was hurt, but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. That's all I have to say. I like the video. It's a good video for kids. I don't see falls. I just have very little to talk about. The last thing I could talk about is how it ranks with other Season 4 releases. That's going to be a problem because there were only three and I only own one other. Story and Song Collection. There's also rock and roll and other stories, but as far as I'm concerned, the featured episodes suck in comparison to Thomas and Stepney. A story and song collection has music, always good for the kids, as well as my two favourite season 4 episodes. So as far as I'm concerned, even though Thomas and Stepney is a very good video for children, especially those recently introduced to the series, story and song collection is a better release overall. So, that's about it. Another winner. Whoop. D do Wait, what's that? It's 1999 and something new is coming in? But before we end this one, I have to say something. This has been bugging me for a few weeks now. I've covered over 60 releases now. I still have a few more to go. But I don't feel like I've been giving them a clear enough rating. I'd like to rectify this right now. 4 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 
two out of five, four out of five, three out of five, five out of five, four out of five, three out of five, four out of five, four out of five, four out of five, five out of five, one out of five, five out of five, three out of five, three out of five, five out of five, four out of five, a strong four out of five, four out of five, a strong four out of five, three out of five, a generous two out of five. There are too many movies to count, my favourite is still Fast Five. Four out of five, three out of five, three out of five, one out of five, four out of five, two out of five, two out of five, four out of five, three out of five, Five out of five, four out of five, one out of five, three out of five, three out of five, two out of five, three out of five, three out of five, zero out of five, a very strong three out of five, three out of five, two out of five, two out of five, three out of five, three out of five. Five out of five, no surprise there. A strong four out of five. A nostalgic three out of five. Four out of five. Three out of five. One out of five. Three out of five. A very strong four out of five. Two out of five. A strong three out of five. Three out of five. Three out of five. Four out of five. And finally, three out of five. And if we're counting any recordable content I've shown over the past 64 episodes, 3 out of 5, 5 out of 5, surprise surprise, 1 out of 5, and 4 out of 5.